Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video on the tropics. And so in this video, we'll be talking about the latest on our tropical cyclones. Uh, we have what is now tropical storm Ian. It made landfall in Florida yesterday as an absolutely catastrophic cat for hurricane. And we also have tropical depression uh, 11 out in the Atlantic. And so uh, models are expecting that we will see something maybe try to develop out in the main development region and potentially head westward towards the Caribbean and to solidify on that uh, we have the climate prediction centers map that highlights an area close to the Caribbean as though we could see some development and so before I go into details please do subscribe and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important updated video on the tropics and so uh, to share support for the channel you can leave a like on this video okay and let's go ahead and start off with a view of the North Atlantic and here we have have it on satellite we're seeing here that uh, we have Ian that is making its way out of Florida we also see some activity in portions of the Eastern Caribbean uh, up in the North Atlantic and also off Africa and right to the southwest of the Cabo Verde Islands that little blob is associated with a tropical wave there and then to the northwest of that is a tropical depression let's go ahead and look at our tropical cyclones and so we're starting off with Ian and here's a closer view of it and we see that it is a definitely uh, weakening cyclone. It's weakening rapidly because, of course, it crossed over land and there are some unfavorable conditions in the area as well. So the cyclone is weakening out there, but nevertheless, still a very dangerous situation for portions of Florida and will be for sections of the southeastern U.S. And so as we look at the National Hurricane Center's cone forecast for Ian, we're seeing here that a tropical storm warning is still in effect for most of Florida, along with the coastline of Georgia, South Carolina, and the southern portion of North Carolina. So those areas are expected to uh, feel impacts from Ian, mainly in terms of that rainfall that is expected. But Ian is expected to dissipate by uh, the end of this week. And we see that it is going to be making its way into the warm ocean waters of the Atlantic. And so uh, re-intensification is likely, but nothing certainly as close to being a major hurricane. So we could see some intensification of Ian. As of now, the National Hurricane Center is expecting that winds could potentially peak uh, at 70 miles per hour once the system moves offshore and into warm ocean waters and then uh, the system will probably make its way into South Carolina bringing along with it all of that rainfall and as I speak let's look at this rainfall potential map we have the various colors that indicate how much rainfall is expected in inches and we see that most areas are expected to have say over two inches going up to four inches for a lot of areas with some areas expected to have uh, maybe around six or more inches of rainfall. And so the heavy rainfall associated with Ian will likely result in flash flooding across some areas. So please take all the necessary precautions and stay safe. And along with that, if we go back to the cone forecast, we see that this wind feel for the tropical storm force winds is quite extensive. So a lot of areas will be feeling those uh, tropical storm force winds, winds of around 40 miles per hour or more from Ian. And so uh, please take the necessary precautions and stay safe if you're in the southeastern U.S. to be impacted by the system. And let's head over into the Atlantic and here we have tropical depression 11 and so uh, this is a recently formed cyclone and of course uh, it is not expected to intensify into a tropical storm and if you remember we've had invest 99L out there for a very long time and it managed to become uh, this tropical depression here but it's not likely to intensify into a named storm but of course the next name to be used for this hurricane season is Julia so uh, we could see that tropical cyclone develop in maybe within the coming days and so as I speak about that let's go ahead and look at what the various models are expecting the operational models and we're going to be starting out with GFS okay and so this is going to Sunday the 2nd of October so this coming Sunday of course and so we're looking for those black lines that are called isobars and so when we see them in a circular manner with the pressure being below 10 13 millibars that is indicating a low pressure system and when we see those uh, isobars being 
been very closely packed. That indicates a steep gradient, which means that the system is quite intense. And so as we take a look off the coast of Africa by that time, we see that the GFS is expecting that there will be something trying to develop within that region. And as we head all the way to the end of next week on Friday, the 7th of October, uh, we see here that we have the system making its way all the way across the Atlantic towards the Caribbean and affecting the Lesser Antilles. And so as we head though to Sunday, uh, October 9, we see that we have the system here making its way into portions of the Eastern Caribbean and then uh, eventually crossing over the Greater Antilles. But we see that low pressure center forming in the Western Caribbean in the vicinity of Jamaica. And I just think that this is quite interesting. And what we're seeing now, we should really take it with a grain of salt. But the reason I decided to point this out is because it's not just one model. It's three of the major models we're talking about that are expecting that uh, we're going to be seeing something maybe within the coming days. And along with that, as I said earlier in the video, we have the Climate Prediction Center highlighting that area uh, headed towards the Caribbean. And so we'll be looking at that shortly. But looking at what the uh, euro is expecting now. So we're going to Tuesday, the 4th of October. And the model is also expecting that we will be seeing some development out in the main development region. And then as we head to Sunday, the 9th of October, we have the euro showing that we're definitely going to be having some intensification here. So uh, euro is showing that this is going to potentially be making its way westward and could affect the Caribbean um, and then looking at what the icon is expecting for Tuesday the 4th of October the model doesn't go as far out as the others so uh, it only goes around five days I believe in so on the 4th of October icon is expecting that we are going to be seeing quite the activity out there we see that 1003 millibar low pressure uh, area out there maybe a developing tropical storm we see something else off the coast of Africa and then ahead of the system we see an area of low pressure and so this is quite interesting i mean this is expected because of course it's not like we're done with the hurricane season because we still have october and we also have november where we could possibly see some development as well and then looking at this global tropics hazards outlook map and we have this key that is indicating what the various colors mean at the bottom and so we are focusing on that first map we're looking to the right side and so we're seeing here that we have sections of the Caribbean as well as northern South America even extended into portions of southern Florida and the Bahamas highlighted in green which is indicating that there is a probability of above average rainfall within this time frame from the 5th to the 11th of October and then we have that area highlighted in red out in the main development region and that could be indicating that hey we could see something develop uh, within this area probably headed westward to the Caribbean but again there is no guarantee guarantee that uh, whatever is going to be developing, if we will have development out there, will be headed towards the Caribbean because there can be a lot of changes and we have been seeing a lot of changes and uh, this definitely can't be outruled though and the best thing to do is just to keep an eye on what is happening out there across the tropics. But of course, I'm here to keep you guys updated on just that. And so uh, that is really it for now. And if you have any questions, you can leave them down in the comments. And you can also share thoughts there. And of course, remember to always be otherwise. And I will be given the necessary updates as time goes by.